Okay, in this video we're going to go over I's, Y's, and T's. So that's basically just, you know, the position you're going to be in at each, um, okay, right. Okay, in this video we're going to go over I's, Y's, and T's. So that's just the letter you make with your arms whenever you do these different exercises. So this is targeting the upper and middle traps, which are located and attached to the shoulder blades and the spine. So it helps with shoulder blade positioning for arm movements. So basically, so if these are weak, we usually overuse our upper trap muscles or we get that grinding in the shoulder joint itself. So whenever the shoulder blade's in the right position, the arm moves really well, and again, we don't overuse our upper trap. So if you have neck pain or if you have shoulder issues, this is a really good place to start and to target and re-educate those proper mechanics as well as strengthen those muscles. So start with the lightest resistance band. Go ahead and find a fixed surface that won't move on you when you um, put something around it and pull on it. So as far as the positioning here, so what you're going to do, this is the T formation. So instead of just pulling on the band with your arms, we're going to make sure that the shoulder blades are set first. So this is re-educating the middle and lower traps to engage, set the shoulder blade in the proper position, and then you're going to pull through on the band, pause, and slowly come back to the start position before you let the shoulder blades relax. Again, shoulder blades are pinched together and down. Pull to the midline portion of your body, don't go beyond it, and try not to arch your back. So keep your core engaged, you're stacked from shoulders down to hips, and you're pulling with the band, make sure the shoulder blades are set. So that's the T, okay, the palms are up for that, elbows are relatively straight, not locked out, but straight. And the next one is the I formation. So same thing, shoulder blades are engaged first, they are pulled together and down like you're putting them into a back pocket. Keep them there, and then you're going to pull to midline portion of your body, pause at the bottom portion, and then slowly come forward before you let the shoulder blades relax back to the start position. Again, shoulder blades are pinched together and down, and then pulling with the arms. So that's the I, the last one is the Y. This one's the most difficult one, uh, because our upper traps really love to over-engage in this position. You're gonna have to fight that by keeping in touch with just what your posture is looking like in the moment. So let me just go ahead and show you. I usually do this with one arm at a time instead of both at the same time. So anchor with one arm. Shoulder blades are slightly, so very mild, pinch together. And then you're going to pull the band at a 45 degree angle. So somewhere between shoulder height and directly overhead, you're gonna be at this 45 degree. So don't let your body rotate, core is tight, shoulder blades pinched, and then you're pulling here. So if your shoulder is clicking when you're pulling, just try to lighten up on how much you're engaging the shoulder blades. Sometimes we overcorrect and we're just, again, just in an improper position or we're not engaged enough. So you need to find somewhere in the middle and then make sure you're not pulling past the midline portion of your body and that you're not cranking back here. Just push too much stress on the shoulder joint. So again, this is strengthening and re-educating the middle and lower trap muscle group to help with shoulder blade placement and again to relax the upper traps. We're not overly engaging these with overhead movements and it's really good for shoulder mechanics.